So today I planted my sweet potato. It was way overdue. Um, it, I just haven't had a chance to do it. And I had my hubby help me because the bag of dirt was obviously wet and heavy. So he came um, to the rescue after I found a small little frog in there, which everyone knows that I hate bugs and or amphibians. And um, I made a mix between um, dirt because it was really uh, muddy and um, some moth, some peat moss. And that way it helps with the drainage and it's not too um, muddy when, when I plant it and it gets wet. And I was able to get that done in a short period of time. I'm gonna leave it outside. They say that the greens that the potato produces is actually one of the most healthiest greens um, because it has the most fiber out of all the greens. And you can um, also use it in salads and or just eat it on its own or, and they're pretty big. So hopefully you guys can see what the end result is and we'll be able to provide some insight as far as how to plant it. And we used the, the bag, the potato bag. It's a sack that actually has a hole on the side. And in, with that hole, you're able to open it up and um, take the potatoes straight from there and not have to dump the bag out and or dig in there because they all come out through the bottom. So as you can see, we drink a lot of coffee. So I made collections of um, the K-cups and all I do is I empty it out. I take the filter out. I take the coffee out of it and I pour the coffee into um, the soil around the plants and the tea, ba the tea bag or the, the filter that's in there can be used as compost so I go ahead and I dig that into an area I have within my raised bed and give food to the worms and I the cake cup is something that you can recycle after you've taken the filter out and the coffee out you can recycle those little cups In this area, I planted the onions. I recently just planted a new one, the one that was sprouting in my kitchen. Um, the other ones, I actually um, dug up a little bit to see and there were three little studs of onions growing in there. They were tiny, so I'm gonna leave them in for a little longer to make sure that they grow more. Um, and then I have the citronella, which I clipped and I planted straight into the ground after I clipped it. In, that, in this area that you see here that I'm mixing the, the dirt is basically where I dig a hole and put in some of my compost and then I just mix it in to give it more of a, a rich type of soil in case I need to use this soil to plant in smaller planters and, and vases. Um, then I have my tomatoes and my cucumbers. The cucumbers have grown significantly with all this rain. Um, some peppers that I've planted in in that little pot and they have not sprouted yet I'm gonna go ahead and 
dig in some of those filters from the coffee pots within the soil i've been doing this for a few weeks now and i haven't dug in the same hole um that i've used in the past which has been great look how big the cucumber plant is those um are basil basically i had some clippings i that i had made and i dug them straight into the ground like i just put them straight into the ground to see if they would sprout and they have not died so basically this tells me that they are growing roots down there um i have planted a large amount of lettuce that's a little bit of a cilantro plant right there and another and more basil i've planted um some more cilantro in the back some are sprouting there's some basil and there's mint and um my son actually oh this is my ginger uh, the ginger it is growing as well and my son actually planted recently some beans and it looks like they're sprouting as well as you can see i went a little bit overboard with the lettuce but the reality is that a lot of it didn't survive all this rain i only have one um large lettuce plant you can see it all the way to the left that actually um got through it but it's been a really a really big struggle with all this rain thank you guys so much for watching next week um, the goal is to uncover how to tell the difference between your plants and weeds <laughs> because I'm finding it a really big struggle trying to f determine whether some of the plants growing in my garden are weeds or they're actual seeds. <laughs>